the Bills lost to the Kansas City Chiefs on Tuesday. No, on Monday. 5 o'clock game. So what do you guys think about the Bills now? Has your perspective changed? Because throughout the first couple of weeks, their competition wasn't that good. Their competition got better. They almost blew one against the Rams. They lost against Tennessee. Now they lost against the Chiefs. What do you think about the Bills? I think losing to the Chiefs isn't a bad thing. I think the Titans blowout was probably the biggest question mark for us. But other than that, I think they played a pretty – they played a – I wouldn't say they played good, but they could have won that game against the Chiefs and losing a game to the Chiefs. I'm not going to sit here and bash you for it and call you, you know, overrated or pretenders. I think we still have to wait and see. Yeah, it's funny. As much as I just talked up the Dolphins in the Tua segment, I'm not concerned if I'm the Bills. Like, they should still run away with the division. I'm not yeah, going to dock yeah. them for losing to the Chiefs. They even played pretty well against the Chiefs. Granted, it was a miserable day. They, they held the Chiefs in check, and they made it a game, which I give them credit for. Anybody that can do that, I give them credit. The, like, like Riv said, the Titans' loss was the more concerning one for me because I don't think that even though I like the Titans, I don't think anybody should be I losing to the Titans the by 30 points. So that's a concern. Luckily for them, they get to come back with the Jets, a total cupcake. <laughs> should be a blowout. Get your confidence back. Then, you know, you're going to have some more tests again. Like, New England, they should also win that game, I think, pretty handily the way the match. Patriots have looked. But also division battle, Bill Belichick, it'll be it'll be tough. But then you go Seattle, Arizona, Los Angeles, the, the Chargers, Los Angeles Chargers. Yeah, they beat the Rams in there. San Francisco, who will be at least slightly be, more yeah. healthy at that point in the season, and Pittsburgh. So it's a really tough stretch, and I know we've been talking about this for the Bills all season long. We've been talking about how their schedule is going to get tough. Can they respond to it? I think that they should be able to. The way Josh Allen has looked this season, I've been very impressed well, with him. He's he's started to come back down to earth a little bit, and so has the rest of the team. But I still think they're a contender in the AFC. You know, They've proven me wrong from my take on them at the beginning of the year. I have belief in them. But they also still need to prove it to me. I'm not sold on them like I'm sold on the Chiefs, the the Steelers, the Ravens, even the Titans. Like those teams, I'm confident in it. Like but any given week, I'm confident in what I'm getting out something of Something we talked about early in the season too, Josh Allen's MVP campaign, and it kind of digressed as he started to play good competition. So now he has to get it back going and start showing why we were praising him so much early in the season. Before I go, I'm going to just say this. Josh Allen, he's still playing phenomenal. The Bills, they should run away with this division because the Patriots are going through their COVID situation. If not, I think it'd be a tighter race. But the problem with the Bills is that they they can beat up on bad teams and they can look like one of the better teams in the league. But as soon as they play hard competition, they don't win. They find a way to lose. We saw that against the Texans in the playoffs last year when they were up. Mm Mm-hmm. Houston got shut out in the first half, and then they came back. They rallied and they beat they the Bills. Them, they beat themselves. And I was the, ju- the I was Bills. Just bring that yeah, up. the Bills cannot beat the better teams. They're one in six against teams who have made the playoffs or are coming off a playoff appearance. They lost to the Patriots twice last year. The Texans in the playoffs. The Titans this season. The Ravens last year. The Chiefs this year, and the Eagles last year. They, the Eagles made the playoffs last year. We all know that. And they're two and two against teams that are 500 this season and the Raiders and the Rams. And are we sure that the Raiders are going to remain 500 throughout the season? Is not, it's still a question mark, right? But this is my concern. First of all, Josh Allen, 20, his 2020 campaign, his quarterback rating when leading is a 130 quarterback rating, right? He's playing like a superstar, like the MVP. When he's trailing, it's a 91.6. Mm. So he dips down. He's still a great to good good to great quarterback, but it dips down. That's about a 40-point <laughs> drop-off. When it's tied, it goes to 75. Jeez. He's a mediocre quarterback. And last year in 2019, it was the same. He had a 107, 107 quarterback rating when leading, then a 71 when trailing, then an 82 when tied. So it seems when the team is trailing, when the team is tied, Josh Allen isn't that good. The only bright side about that is in the fourth quarter, Josh Allen is pretty clutch. Like, his numbers from 2019 and 2020 combined, he has 13 touchdowns and one interception in the fourth quarter. So he doesn't, he protects the ball in the fourth. 
But something obviously happens when they're trailing or they're tied that Josh Allen simply just cannot get the win. I don't know if it's Brian Dable's play calling. I don't know if the, the offense around him collapsed. But something obviously goes wrong. But I think we can all agree that the question mark with the Bills right now is their defense. Absolutely. Second-ranked defense last year. This year, the 21st. And I remember in the Bills video when we were talking about the division winner, everybody wanted to tell me that the Bills have a better secondary than the Patriots. The Patriots right now are ninth in passing yards allowed per game. The Bills are 24th. You can't rely on Josh Norman. You can't even though he's on IR, Levi Wallace. You can't rely on Levi Wallace. You Trey, can't rely on Teron Johnson. Trey White's had some injury concerns too throughout the season, yeah, which has hurt them. Yeah, their only good corner is Trey White. Everybody he's else gets picked on. Josh Norman is not Carolina Josh Norman. I don't care that he's in Sean McDermott's not defense. Even Washington Josh Norman. People, Washington Josh Norman was bad. But, but like, this guy's horrible. Right? Sean McDermott, he was a defensive coordinator the year that the Panthers made the Super Bowl. And because of that, Bills fans thought they were getting the Carolina Josh Norman. You were wrong. You're not getting that Josh Norman. Josh Norman is not the same. He's a mediocre to bad corner. He gets picked on. And that's their problem is right there. Yeah, listen, they're going to get back on track against the Jets this upcoming weekend. And then... They gotta prove they gotta prove who they are because I still have belief in them as what they were in the first few games of the season. But in order for me to feel that way going into the playoffs, we can't excuse them losing games like they lost to the Chiefs or Titans. They are going to need to get at least one win against uh Seattle or a Pittsburgh, even a San Francisco mm. and Arizona, the Chargers. Like, give me a win against a team of substance. Show me that you can compete against those teams because you look at like you said. Last year, when they went into that game against the Texans, they were the better overall football team, I thought, but it hurt them massively that they played the easiest schedule, in, one of the easiest schedules in football. The same mm-hmm. schedule that we know it because we watched the Jets play against the same schedule. It was a terrible schedule. And they went into a team against the Texans who played better competition throughout the season, and the Texans just looked more ready to play playoff football. And that's a thing for the Bills. I don't know if they're ready for those spotlight games yet. And maybe it has to do with Josh Allen growing as a quarterback in those moments. Maybe it has to do with the whole team getting ready to play in those moments. But when they play big teams, they just haven't shown it yet. And I think that they're talented enough to play on that level with the big dogs in the AFC. But they need to show me that. The Bills aren't sneak up, sneaking up on anybody anymore. We know who they are. Last they got year, a target on their back. Last year, they caught everybody by surprise. We didn't think they were going to be as good as they were, even though the Patriots won a division. This year, we know. We have expectations of the Bills, and those expectations are kind of hurting them because they're, they're not legit contenders. They can't beat the Steelers. They can't beat the Titans. They can't beat the Chiefs. They can't beat the Ravens. What team can they beat? If we're being realistic, if if they were to make the playoffs, yeah. what team can they beat? And, and that's the thing. Like again, they have the talent to do it. I don't question that they are talented enough. I don't think they're just to ready compete with Men- those mentally, teams, but they have to do it. Like they could be as talented on paper as they want. They could beat up on the Jets and look like the best team in the NFL against the Jets and even the Dolphins, who I just gave so much credit to. At the end of the day, they're not on the level. When we get to the teams that they need to be on par with, the Titans, the Chiefs, they lose those games. And when it comes down to it in the playoffs, those are the teams they're going to have to beat to compete for anything of any value. Mm. And it's a sad reality, but Josh Allen has played so well now that he's getting thrust into the conversations with the better quarterbacks in the league. And we've seen this effect with Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson has one of the better seasons in NFL history. But he's 0-2 in the playoffs. And, and that's what people questions him that's that. what people point at. So when you can't beat these teams over five hundred or teams that have made the playoffs, that's what you're judged on. I don't care that you're playing at an MVP level, that's what you're judged on until you start winning in the playoffs. And that's how it's yeah. always been, and that's how it's gonna be. I Absolutely. give them credit, and I'll I'll be the first one to admit I was wrong in the beginning of the season. They are better than I thought, but now they need to prove me double wrong and show me that they are a legit contender because right now I can't put them in that category in the AFC with the Steelers, the Ravens, the Chiefs, the Titans. To me, those are the four far and away contenders in the AFC for a Super Bowl this year. I get that. Granted, though, the Steelers also have yet to play anybody. So we don't know. We know 
they're good and they're disciplined. Mike Tomlin, Ben, Big Ben, all that. But we also have yet to see them play any competition yet. And their their test is coming up very soon, too. I'll say this, though. The Browns, who were a team who we thought could be in nearing that level, they embarrassed That them. is true. They blew them out of the water. You you do make a good point, though. They haven't played the toughest schedule yet. In Baltimore, their first competition, they got blown out on a Monday night. Yeah, they and got now, embarrassed. And, and now we're going to see Tennessee-Baltimore coming up for the Steelers. It's going to be, and again, I know we keep saying it on every episode. It might seem like we're just trying to bide our time, but these next three or four weeks are going to tell us so much about all the teams we've been talking about because this is when the real competition in the schedule is coming up.